flipper flicks, you've been activated. Hey. <laughs> What's I'm that Sam. mean? Nah, they gotta that. listen to find out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Adam. I'm Tim. Leaving them on a cliffhanger here. So let's see. What did we do this week? This week we got, what is it? Pick three? Is that yes. the category? I was going to say wordplay, and I was like, that's not right. Wrong. And uh, Tim picked HBO Max. Adam picked fantasy sci-fi. Fantasy and sci-fi. Which, mm -hmm. hmm. And uh, what number did I pick? 28? 28. 28. <laughs> he just, for context, he just told us all of this, and I already forgot. <laughs> but it was anyway. either 28 or 38. It was an eight. <laughs> it was some sort of eight. Or it might have been 48. Who's to say? You'll have to listen to the episode to find out. That's last one, episode. Yeah, that's last week's episode. Mm -hmm. Um, but anyway, you can find it on HBO Max, Avi, and How we ended up with Eagle Eye. It's an hour and fifty-seven minutes, so just short of the two-hour mark, and it's PG thirteen, and it came out in two thousand eight. And the synopsis fifteen years ago. So old. The synopsis is a frightening cyber terror frames two Chicagoans in a deadly pilot. Nope, deadly plot. That leaves them on the right. It was so close. <laughs> I like pilot. So there's a deadly pilot in this movie. <laughs> From the law in this action uh, thriller. So I don't have my glasses on, and it's really not that far from my face. I don't have a good excuse for why I couldn't read that, but I just decided it's a deadly pilot. It's okay, Velma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, dude. Yeah. We, have we all watched this before? I know Sam has. Mm-hmm. I believe I have. Probably. Tim? Oh, at first I thought I hadn't, but I've definitely seen parts of it. I, I, I don't, I didn't really remember all of it, but there was like the ending. I was like, oh, I know this. I yeah. know what happens. Like, you know, I was like, oh, I've seen this scene. Or like there was parts of it um, where he breaks out for the first time and like the cranes there and shit. I remember that. Did that make sense? I'm like, so. That scene made no sense to me. Like he had. It didn't make sense, but. <laughs> well, because like, okay. You have Rachel, whose son is being held hostage. <laughs> right. What the fuck? Like, his motive was, oh, I had money and the FBI thinks I did it. That was the only thing that, like, his. what was his incentive at first? Right? Right. Right. Yeah. I just didn't get his incentive. Because she never at one point said, you get to keep all that money. That's no. true. Yeah. I was yeah. like, what? <laughs> the FBI. Yeah, he, he didn't really have as clear of an, in Yeah. That was always that was my biggest like beef with it right off the bat was like he could have easily probably just stayed with the FBI and been like I didn't do any of this I right, don't know like, what is happening yeah but they were already being just like no you did it you're in trouble yeah, yeah. that's already where they were at <laughs> yeah well and to be fair all those boxes and stuff showed up at his house and he opened like every single one and touched every single one and it's like yeah. great now your fingerprints yeah. are all yeah. over it bro that, like, like the gun picks up the gun your first thought is good job like, yeah exactly <laughs> what like, is this is this a gun yeah oh like, yeah like just stares at it for a minute mm -hmm. i i just didn't get that part like but yeah rachel rachel had her son abducted well supposedly it's not even abducted. Yeah, he's just no, on the field really. trip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the implication of <laughs> right. the implication of danger. Yes. Indeed. Yeah. I mean, she said she's gonna derail the train, so mm -hmm. which is kind of weird because he takes that whole movie to get there by that train and then they get there by in plane. The same amount of time. Yeah. yeah, I guess they did take plane, didn't they? Yeah, for, they went from Indianapolis That's true. to... That's true, they did. But they also took a however long drive from Chicago to Indy. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. they, that's what I mean. They drove a lot, but... That's like, what, three hours? No idea. I don't know much about Indiana and Illinois. I thought it was five hours from Cincinnati. Chicago. Chicago, yeah. So Indianapolis has to be a little bit closer, so... I agree. Google probably agrees with you. Dude, and like, when he was on the train... He's on a train, Shia LaBeouf's character... Uh, Jerry. Jerry Shaw. He's Jerry drawn some Shaw. random stranger. That's fucking creepy. Oh, I know. And then he like puts his number on there, like, call me. <laughs> yeah. Like, mm, I don't that, know about this. Would that have worked for you, Sam? Yeah. Uh, probably not. No. Nope. Probably not. No. 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 I mean, I've had there, somebody. There are definitely people that would work for. Her. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually had somebody when I was I was at a hotel once, and I was waiting to pick be picked up for a lift. Sam was in the wedding. So I'm standing there waiting to get to the ceremony and whatnot. And someone's like, 
can I take a picture of you? Mm-hmm. I draw strangers, and I was like, what? <clears throat> yeah, so apparently there's a picture floating around of me, potentially, that somebody uh, drew, painted. That's kind of cool, though. That's not, that's not that bad to me. Yeah. I've heard of like people doing that. Or there's uh, one, Rihanna sends it to me every once in a while. Um, this guy like takes pictures of dogs mm-hmm. but he, i don't think he draws them or anything but he like buys dogs and he takes really good pictures of the dogs Aww. like and there'll be people that he just re- randomly comes across yeah and, and it's just really cool yeah so like as long as you're not in a porno i think you're good that's yeah. true <laughs> like... yeah no she just drew and some if you hentai. are half the world probably enjoys it so. that's, yeah. true. <laughs> that's true that's true no yeah it was just it was a very odd experience because like she was coming out of like a like a conference and just Stopped, looked at me, Turned. and was like, can I take your picture? Yeah. It's that blue sport coat that you have. I was going to say, did you Fancy. have long hair and stuff? <laughs> uh, no, it was about, it was, well, it's considered long right now, but it right, was not yeah. my, it was not pony, super ponytail length. It was not mermaid length. No, it was There's not a mermaid. Like, just yet. teed off on her if you know. She's just, mm. <laughs> yeah, this guy, together, this guy, this yeah. guy. I'm like, this will be a fun one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, oh, she man. she could probably turn a train into a talking duck, though. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that line like <laughs> random. She's gonna pull it back. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of lines like that one, and then when they're playing poker or whatever, and he's like, "You want to take your girl somewhere nice, like Red Lobster or Olive Garden?" I was yeah. like, Dude. "Wow." <laughs> Do yeah. you want that microwaved food? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Get it at Red Lobster and Olive Garden. That being yeah. said, their biscuits are great at. Um, oh yeah, Red oh. Lobster. Oh yes. <laughs> Oh, that's why you go. That, you don't actually <laughs> go to eat the food. Yeah. You get it for the yeah. free bread. It's, yeah, it's, <laughs> that so, reminds me of the menu for some reason. But <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Wait, but who's better? The Olive Garden breadsticks or the biscuits at Red Lobster? Biscuits. Red Lobster. There you go. What did you say? We've got two of the three votes in. Um. Well, I haven't had the cheddar she biscuits was going that Olive much. Garden. Nah. Nah, I'll probably go with the biscuits. I will yeah. make it a 100%. It's just some, something about a biscuit is better than like a breadstick. Exactly. Me. Yeah. <laughs> like it's just. Well, know. if you eat three like biscuits, then you're like, I ate three biscuits. That's like one breadstick. That's, those are low numbers. I think you got that backwards. You got to hike them numbers <laughs> up, man. You want to be like, I eat 50 items, not I yeah. eat yeah. only a few. Oh my goodness. The possibilities for a biscuit are better than a breadstick. Yeah. Too. Like you can yeah. make a biscuit sandwich, biscuits and gravy. There's a lot more going on there. Breadstick is like dip it in marinara. Yeah. Oh man. But we didn't actually get to see them eat any Olive Garden or Fred No, Lobster. no, Turtle from um Entourage did not end up taking out his girl because he got played. Yeah. Yeah. And then never seen again. Yeah. And there are some, I guess, like era specific uh, references here. Because we, first off, thank goodness that they have the brick phones from 2008 because they're just like crashing into things, yeah. dropping oh, yes. it constantly. If you had your little iPhone or. They had like the Blackberries and stuff. Yeah, right? exactly. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty that sure Rachel, great. I'm pretty sure Rachel had Sam's phone. I think so too. Yeah. It, it looks really familiar. familiar yeah. Yeah. It was like one of those slider ones where you had the full keyboard. Yeah, like the sidekick or whatever yeah. they were called. It, was, it yeah. wasn't the full sidekick. But, but it's like yeah. that. Yeah. Right, yeah. They, they had that, yeah. Because I had one of those at one point, but I had to flip and then some kind of slide. Then I had one that, like, turned. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, did that thing. Yeah. Dude, I was one of those kids that had, like, 30 cell phones. And then once I got to smartphones, I was like, hold up. I don't actually need to change phones that much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I also think it was the product of the time though. Like they were coming out with the slides and all of those other like so much faster. Yeah. Now it's basically the same phone but like upgraded, right? Like Right, yeah. There's People diff- still get it every year, but it does exactly. not make sense to me. <laughs> no. But oh, and there was a line from Billy Bob Thornton's character like from the FBI. These smoke I can't read this on this phone. It's too small of a screen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Print it out for me. Yeah, which I, I kind of found hilarious, too, because, like, if you're at work, I don't know that, like, you had to have it on your BlackBerry. Like, shouldn't it be on a laptop somewhere or something? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not when you're in the FBI, but I was just like. <laughs> right. Also, 
he kept, he was like they keep getting smaller and smaller screens. I was like, I got news from you for you, bud. Yeah. In 15 years, you're going to be carrying a tablet in your yeah, pocket. Exactly. And you yeah, don't even yeah. know what a tablet is. <laughs> right. Go blow your mind. You don't even know what an iPod is yet. Oh, uh, yeah. no, they do. No, they don't. <laughs> now they do. I was, just, <laughs> I was like, I had my Nano in like 20, 2005. Yeah, they were pretty early. I remember like, yeah. We had them in high school. Yeah. 2008 was a big year for Tim. Was it? Big year. Yeah, he graduated. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know this because I graduated in 09. All right. <laughs> it, it makes it easier. Then Sam called you old. I did call you old. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. And then I was laughing at the fact that they talk about Circuit City. <laughs> yeah. In this film, because I was like, oh, man. The Circuit City Theater. The what? The Circuit City the Circuit Theater. City. Theater. City. There's an extra E in City. Yeah. Circuit City Theater. Oh, oh, man. At one point, he pulls, he like, earlier in the movie, when he sees, like, the $750 million in his account, mm -hmm. he, like, tries to pull it all out. I'm like. First off, an ATM only gives you like what yeah. two hundred, three hundred dollars. It depends. Like, like you don't can't they have limits. <laughs> yeah, they do. You they can, do now, maybe not then. They definitely did because I remember my parents complaining about this when we were going on vacation once because they wanted cash and they were like, mm. "Well, I want more than the the allowable limit." Yeah, I remember in right. college, I was trying to buy books at the bookstore, and you know, fucking college books are expensive. Yeah. And I couldn't withdraw the total bill amount from the ATM. Like, I had to go buy, like, half my books uh, and then go back. Like, it was a mess. That's so irritating. I don't know why I didn't just pay with card, though. Like That doesn't make any sense. I know. Uh, it wasn't as much, yeah. You know what, Tim? Sam was doing some back alley deals <laughs> on her books. Oh, man. It was a cash-only business. Mm -hmm. she, didn't want to she didn't want to trail. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. But, yeah, I did find that as a little bit of, like, a... I turned my head at it. Like, I mean, maybe he did still hit the limit and it just was all coming out in like five dollar bills, but no, those were twenties. Like yeah. Did you did um well, you go ahead, Tim? I was gonna say he didn't really put a number in though, right? He just it just started spitting a bunch out. Right. Uh, which was also odd. Like you had yeah. to hit with and then, it, they, and then they said like uh Oh, I should have taken the money. Like he said something about like taking all the money, but it's like, well, you didn't. You definitely you did area. not take that all. <laughs> I was like, no, there's no way. Like yeah. they always he just ejected the rest of it onto the street. I don't yeah, know. I was just ejecting money for hours. Yeah, yeah. All the people in line, free money. You yeah, know what? America. That random ATM definitely has that much cash on it. Seven hundred fifty million dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I actually have no idea. I and they I don't want to know. I don't they want to know. Much. There's no way. <laughs> what Banks you... don't even have that much so right. a lot of the times anymore. Yeah, like it's all digital. It's all fake. It currency. is, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. Um what did you think of the villain? The computer system? <laughs> yeah. The AI. It was yeah. pretty obvious it was gonna be an AI, right? Mm hmm Yeah. Um and Yeah, not that I'm hating on it. It was good. Yeah, I, I was... liked the whole like idea of it and stuff. Yeah, and it makes sense. And like at the beginning, you saw the whole probability of fifty percent, fifty one percent. Don't do it; it's not high enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, and it was the AI was savage. Like it would just be like, "Thanks for your cooperation," and just like, "Yeah, dead." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, so. Also, like she, like she was like talking about how it's for the greater mankind of the United States, and then goes and murders civilians. And I'm like, yeah. Like without care, yeah. Yeah. But then at the same time, that's her thought process. Casualties of war, right? Yeah. Yeah. But she was upset with causing casualties of another country that I'm pretty sure they made up a country. They were like Bolsvakia or something. I'm like, that's not a country. Yeah, I forget what they said, but yeah. you and I were both like, I don't think that's a country. <laughs> we don't. We didn't have it subtitles like they on. Combine two regular countries to make a fake and make country. Up one. Yeah. Well, it's a good way to avoid in conflict. A movie. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like. <laughs> yeah, you're not you're like, like bombing like, Iran or Iraq. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. No, it, we haven't watched a movie like this in some time. Like, I don't know. I was like, the last time I felt like we were in this kind of world. Was extraction. Sure. Oh, yeah. 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 That was like episode 15. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's yeah. 
No, the it's last time we had early. a movie like this, really? That's like season one shit. Yeah, but try and think. I mean, back. we've had action movies, but we haven't had one that's kind of like this. Like and like terrorists involved and like right. I I'm just saying, like not for a while, yeah. Yeah, and I was I, trying to figure out if like this is something we always say, but like it almost feels like you have to blend genre these days, right? Like you'll have an action, yeah. but like it's an action comedy or something like that. Mm-hmm. It's not necessarily as cut and dry as this one. Right, I think people are more invested into like stories and stuff nowadays, whereas <laughs> like because like action movies, they do need more. Well, they're kind of like porn, right? People like their stories. You know? so, <laughs> people got their fetishes. They want, <laughs> but a lot more nowadays. There's, it, it used to be just a very simple plot for action movies, or at least it seemed that way. And now it seems like they blend a lot of movies and just add action and then it's called an action movie you know or like you throw ai and you're like this is science fiction exactly yeah, yeah that's the entire science that? fiction <laughs> i was she off. did shit that she should not like would not have made sense yeah. how did she blow up a little electrical tower like, like yeah. right right like some of it you can remote in okay you you did yeah. you you flew a drone also drone not stuff, weird the drone that's not yeah that stuff's not weird this all seems connected although i don't you know who knows, but yeah, like the telephone, what not telephone wire, the electrical wire and stuff. Yeah. That one was a little far fetched to me. Yeah, and that guy just gets obliterated. And the cranes, <laughs> the cranes doing the thing. That was a little like. That one's like maybe, but I don't think in two thousand eight. In two thousand eight, no, there's no. no way they had any remote <laughs> capability. In two thousand eight, now, no way. Oh, and I was I was off by two episodes. It was episode thirteen. Wow. Oh, that's impressive that you were no that's not impressive that. that's a fail for him he that's, should have remembered it i should have remembered <laughs> i'll be doing some harikari in the background here <laughs> be right back oh, some seppuku man. i would have put instract extraction in like season two so shows you what i know <laughs> tim's like did we watch it no i'm just kidding they're making extraction too <laughs> i know and they shouldn't it's a terrible idea because the first one should have ended the first one ended go back episode 13 you can hear our hot Except take on that, that. You can, yeah the hot take of him like blurry image him at a pool or some shit i'm like fuck that he'd have died i don't give a shit you know what was still hot yeah <laughs> still hot. extracted yeah. still hot likes still the whole hot. movie until that last point for real <laughs> <laughs> i remembered you being real upset about that i was and i am it's bullshit still like into the fucking movie for once like you don't need dead. you don't need 30 sequels. You do. No. <laughs> but you guys have seen a car chase. You guys have seen a plane chase. But have you seen a plane chase a car through a tunnel except for this movie? <laughs> yes, I have. I'm oh, pretty really? sure in Die Hard 5 kidding. or something, Die Hard 4, there's a, a plane. It was a helicopter. Also Shia LaBeouf. But does it go through a tunnel? Yes. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. So that wait, when did that come out? Was Around that, the same time. I was gonna say with this. Because <laughs> I watched it with Tim. Yeah. Oh man. Wait, Tim and I saw it in the theater with like, Yeah, I'm probably, pretty sure because I remember he ramps the car and ramps the car into it off of the booth or whatever. Yep. Like, that would not work at all. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you and I both remember this. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy because I would have said that like this is just like a stupid stunt and like who who does this? But clearly it might have been. <laughs> A product of its time. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I, I'm I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess that Transformers may have done it too. In one of the nine Transformer movies. So anything that Shia LaBeouf is Maybe. in in this era probably <laughs> yeah, has Shia a stunt. <laughs> There's a chance that a jet, a plane was it his idea? He, Maybe. he just keeps coming you up with it. Like, just keep, <laughs> just put every movie. That's a brilliant idea. <laughs> Nobody's ever done that. Five movies come out with him in it and all this same thing. It's it's like the uh, twin yeah. movies, like when um, two movies come out at the same time, like Wyatt right. Earp and Wyatt Tombstone, Earp. Tombstone come out, like. But these are identical twin scenes. Yeah, they just copy paste. And do you think that this is the future of Chat GPT? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> we'll see what Microsoft does. <laughs> Yeah. More to come. <laughs> well, that's what I was going to say, too, is like, it's funny that this came out in 2008 because the sheer amount of data that's now on people is even more, right? Like, in this movie, I feel yeah. like they were just relying on, like, surveillance cameras and, like, some stuff, but, like, it's really gone off the rails. And You have years. a bit more cash now. Yeah. A few more cookies, a few more caches. 
Oh, I thought you meant like cash, like cash money. Oh, but no, you no. mean like cash, <laughs> like, like on C-A-C-H-E, your computer, you got to clear your cash. Yeah. yeah. A cache. Yeah, a cache. exactly. <laughs> um, now, apparently an FBI agent during the filming of this told uh, Shia LaBeouf that they, um, the FBI records one in five messages, vo- um, voice calls. Wow. And he's like, bullshit. And then he pulled up a, a call he had from like 2002. Nice. <laughs> That'd be fucking creepy as shit. I'm going to tell you what. My messages are boring. Uh, you're good. <laughs> you're getting a lot of uh, boring info. A lot of porn. Info. A lot of porn probably <laughs> on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all porn. It all comes back to porn, people. Isn't that a... What's that from? Like, it's just that all porn. Yeah. <laughs> it's all porn, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, in, in the office, he talks about it's all sex. It's all oh, yeah. It's all yeah. Sex. Oh, yeah. Because like the password like was like boobies. Yeah. But like Robert California, he's like, do you want the nature or the uh, sex explanation? And he says nature and he starts going into it. And it's just basically about sex. <laughs> yeah. He says, and then he goes, I should have just gone with the sex metaphor. Let me start over. Because <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> like everything's just sex. In him, so. I love Robert California. Yeah. I don't know. If A that... lot of people hate him. I like it. I thought his character is great. Now, if you told me uh, you hated Will Ferrell's character, I get that. A lot of people hate Will Ferrell's character, too. But I thought he was fun. Uh, Jim Carrey just wants to go to the Finger Lakes. The Finger Lakes. This is amazing. I'm sure I should be at the Finger Lakes right now. I actually left my family at the Finger Lakes, and I came here for this interview. <laughs> Was that all improv? I it's, don't think so. No? <laughs> oh man. What 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 do you think of the carousel? Like uh, the at the airport, they're just like flying. Oh yeah, down going it. through there. Yeah, I, I feel like so, I don't know. I feel like it would be safe to go through those because they have to be big enough for some luggage. So like, yeah. certain, there's no point at which they would get too. It wouldn't get too thin. To get yeah. Through. yeah. I, was I would like, still not want to try it, but. Oh, I'm over here. Like that looks like a fun ride. Yeah. yeah. Like, as, as long as you don't have anything like belt buckles or like a button on your pants. That right. Could they get, could get caught or yeah. something. Yeah. yeah. As long no as none rivets. of that. <laughs> Yeah, no rivets. What it was it at the water park? Like no grommets and whatever yeah. else on your shorts yeah. you couldn't have. Those rules apply. Yeah. But I mean, you're right, Tim. Like you have to have oversized luggage, right? So like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Some people bring some <laughs> big ass shit on planes. Dude, on a, yeah. uh, in other news, it was it was a surreal experience watching Ahsoka Tano talk to the Falcon slash Captain America. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of weird. <laughs> Dude, Anthony Mac, he's like he's so young in he's this. He's so young. I know everybody is. It was wild. Well, it's almost like, like it was like 15 years ago. Yeah. I know. But I would say Billy Bob Thornton is exactly how I imagine Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah, hundred percent. He says it hits a certain point and doesn't age like a lot of people. In now, the- now Sam, not not our Sam, like the character Sam, the child. Right. Did you recognize yeah. him? Yes, I did, but I didn't know where from. But I was like, I know that kid. He's in stuff. He's in The Descendants. Okay. <laughs> Not what he was expecting. He, he, <laughs> no. Unfortunately, I, I, I passed... swear I've seen that kid's face before, though. Yeah, he was a big Disney star. Unfortunately, okay. he passed, though, so. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Cameron Boyce. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had this discussion before, yeah. Yes, we did. Yeah. Oh, and did you recognize Jerry's dad? I don't think Tim would have, but you, Sam? He looked familiar, but... I recognize him, yeah. What's he from? Tim probably... His name is William Sadler, but I really only wrote him down because he rocks a nice bass guitar. What? In be- he's death in Bill and Ted's. Oh, nice. He, um... Man, I know I've seen him in some other stuff. I can't yeah, he's in yeah, a lot, Yeah, he looks though. familiar. Yeah. That's I watch Bill and Ted's too much, but... Yeah, he talks like this in, in Bill and Ted's. Slap of the bass. No, no, that's a different movie. <laughs> that's I Love You, man. But he does slap the bass. He does. Slap at the bass. 40 minute bass solos are very and I keep, I keep getting references for Yes Man and I need to watch it. <laughs> Have you, what, you've seen it. There's, though, a, there's right? a lot of, oh yeah, I love okay. that movie. But it's there's, Jim I mean, it's got Jim Carrey. It's yeah, Jim Carrey. How could you go wrong? Um, <laughs> But there's there's a thing that people are doing, which is great. Again, keep sending me this, but they're little 
reels and stuff where it's like you ever had a red bull i've never had a red bull before i had a red bull for the first time and it's like animals doing like psycho shit <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and amazing. it's like great and then there was one she sent me of like huskies and he's like running around in circles he's like well, that's just a Arctic. normal husky but you can't man. see it right now <laughs> yeah. yeah what are you doing and he's it but he's he's like running around and it's like doing it and then it's like i got a glow in the dark necklace you can't see it right now and then <laughs> it goes dark and then the husky has a glow in the dark necklace he's like that's hilarious, <laughs> it's hilarious. That's great. That and like yeah. I can see cats on catnip. Like I can see it's, it all. Yeah, unfolding. it's a lot of cat stuff. It's hilarious, and I'm like, I want to make some of these, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> Just set up a camera in your house, and it'll make it for you. <laughs> they will. That is they true. Will. That is true. It's three in the morning, I just hear. And then you just hear a crash, and you're like, I'll deal with that tomorrow. I'll deal with that tomorrow. Well, nope. our two cats, oh, she doesn't like, the one doesn't like to play all the time, but Bean, she gets very vocal. Yes, as so they do. So <laughs> fucking Vader gets on her, and it sounds like an actual cat fight sometimes, so I have to go break it up, because he's just like, <laughs> I'm like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> She's very vocal. Well, maybe you shouldn't have wet, ca- eat wet cat food at night, Tim. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I'm glad that we're not the only ones suffering from lack of sleep because of a feline. So Gosh, yeah, that makes sure. me feel yeah. better. <laughs> her, her, Ponyo funny. jumped up on a couch thing, like on her couch arm. Yes. Last night at four in the morning, Sam shot up thinking somebody was in her house. And I was like, girl, it was the cat. <laughs> this one too, all the time. <laughs> Those damn cats are so loud, man. In the middle of the worst time. <laughs> they really are. <laughs> yep. Yep. You're like, oh, I got to wake up early tomorrow. Let me sing you the song of my people. In your closet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, oh, man. Uh, See? So that's what Eagle Eye would catch these days. Is cats yeah. No, just, it. just, just, <laughs> it's yeah. not all porn. It's porn and cats. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, porn and cats. That's all the internet is. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's pretty accurate. Yeah. There was definitely some unrealistic falls they did in this, but that's, you know. Whatever. It's an action movie. <laughs> yeah, it's an action movie. There's some pretty bad ones, but. I, yeah, like, I was going to ask you what you thought of the all the cuts in the car scene, because it was just driving me nuts. They were on a Another scene for- product of its era. <laughs> too many cuts, too many shaky cameras. I hate that shit. It was killing you inside? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I hate that shit, because back then it was normal, like, whatever, but now when there's movies that do it better, yeah, it drives you nuts when you watch a movie that does it that way. Yeah. Did the length affect you guys at all? It probably could have been 20 minutes shorter, but also... Yeah, but it didn't feel long, right? No. Like, everything, like, went along fine. I don't mm-hmm. know. It wasn't... Yeah, that didn't bother me. I don't think they focused too long on certain parts. Like, it seemed like it was Right. Fine. They didn't have much filler. Like, you right. kind of see yeah. now it would actually everything affect the necessary. movie. Yeah. Everything seemed pretty, like, necessary or worthwhile to put in. The weirdest part to me in the film, like the weirdest out of place scene, was when they were like, "Look at our new explosive diamond that we have." Oh yeah, like, well, that was the beginning. That was the yeah, uh, the handgun, right, or whatever. The yeah, they were just Chekhov. showing it so that like, oh, this is how we're going to. This is here's Chekhov's gun. If you show it, you have to use it. Yeah, Chekhov's, Chekhov's gun. gun. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, so like I, I understood it, but I was like, it just seemed like they didn't have a single character. It was like all new characters. Yeah, like they yeah. probably could have worked it in some other way. Yeah. Right. Or like he was watching like TV and it was on. They could have found a way. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, the no. critics gave this a 26%. Wow. I was surprised it was that low. If I'm being frank. Mm-hmm. Uh, audience a 62%. IMDb a 6.6 out of 10. And Google with a 69%. Nice. Nice. So, Sam, you watched this before. I remember you liked it back in the day. Mm-hmm. Are you flipping it back on? Yep, I'm flipping it back on again. I still like it. I think there's parts of it that are a product of its time, like we've discussed. Mm-hmm. But I don't think it's overly like cringe when you rewatch it. Like right. The story still makes sense. And really, it's more of just like some of the way that action movies were of the time. And so I will say, like I didn't really give cinematography a good score because it's like there's nothing really notable about it. It's yeah. not like they were changing lives with this movie. But overall, I think everything else I scored decently high because I was like, yeah, I mean, it was pretty much how I remembered it. I liked it. I know you were scared. I was. How about you, Tim? I gave it 
good reviews. I definitely had seen bits and pieces of it here and there. Uh, I didn't remember all of it, so that could yeah. mean I either watched it and forgot, or yeah, <laughs> I seen parts of it. <laughs> yeah, but um, I thought it was good uh, overall, and I definitely put it at. I would stop if I was at a hotel. Um, I, like he said, I don't think there was anything that was like overtly like assaulting to the senses or anything like that (laughs) yeah Uh, so like it was it was well done enough um and i think it holds holds up to today it's just from that time period and you can see it but like with the phones and stuff but uh yeah i mean i i I gave it fours mostly um music i thought fit so i just said it was sexy but whatever um i have a note on that but i'll get to it later yeah (laughs) cinematography i just put not applicable because Again, yeah. it's from the time period. You know what? I what I almost would go back and lower it because of the the scenes, like the jumpiness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean that's fair, but I just chalked it up to that time period. Oh yeah, yeah. Not, yeah. Kind of like, not upset overall, about it. Yeah, this says uh, flip on tears of joy. I wouldn't say tears of joy, but I would definitely <laughs> I would flip it on. Yeah, <laughs> I would too. Um, I don't think I saw this. I don't think I no? may have necessarily paid attention to watching it. If it was on in the background, it might have been. I would say my favorite thing randomly, though, was when they were at the bar, sometime around midnight came on. Oh, yeah, by Airborne Toxic Event. I was mm. hyped about that. that I really love that song. That was my song in high school. And then, you know, it's in this movie, and I'm like, yeah. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> yeah, so that's how Sam probably knew about the band. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I, I enjoyed it. It was an action movie. And again, we haven't watched. I have Sam and I haven't watched anything like similar to this recently either. I know we said for the pod, but like just in general, this isn't necessarily a movie we would avoid or go for. One day we might just be like, oh, let's watch it, but who All knows? Right. Well, I think if they were gonna do AI now, like it is more science fiction y. Like if you think of yeah. what is that one, like Chat Ex GPT? Machina, oh. and like some of the other ones, it's like it is more. Science-y, X Machina is this great. One? I do yeah. like me some X Machina. Yeah, yeah. See? I think uh, I think if they did it more like that, um, it would be a free form sort of AI situation, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it wouldn't be just like a stuck in a lab computer. In if it had the way to, <laughs> yeah. If it, I mean, this one even. Why didn't it predict that there's a possibility it could get destroyed? And if it had the chance to upload somewhere else as a backup. Why didn't it do that earlier? Yeah. I feel like that would have been like one of the first things an AI does, which is what happens in a lot of these movies. Right? Yeah. Like they, mm-hmm. they immediately back themselves up and then you're like, well, how do we shut it down? But yeah. But moving on to next week, <laughs> let's spin it. There we go. I spun it. I was going to say that. It didn't sound like Tim didn't get much spin on that first one. <laughs> oh. I don't know. I feel like, Tim, you like streaming original. Yeah, I, I tend to. Depends. <laughs> Extraction yeah. too, right? I'm just kidding. It's Dude, not out perfect. <laughs> We're going I'm on a long hiatus <laughs> until like it comes out. That just came out that could fit. Well, Extraction was, in fact, a streaming original pick for us. I know. That's and I saying. probably picked it, didn't I? You, you did. did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you like this episode, follow us on uh, Instagram and Twitter. At Flipper Flicks. I guess we don't have to say it anymore, but I'm going to do it anyway because I'm old. Follow along, see what we're doing. Interact if you'd like to. Yeah, hit us up there. I don't know. You can also give us recommendations on other of those sites, or you can go to our website at www.flipperflicks.com. Yeah, we do a couple recommendations each season, so we just love getting... We're trying to pander right now. We're trying to get you to come to our website, <laughs> give us some clicks, <laughs> and recommend us a movie because you know we're going to have to Pick those eventually, and more the merrier, right? Yeah. You can also, speaking of pandering, you can also uh, rate us, rate and review us on Apple, Spotify now. Oh, we also do polls there occasionally, so that's always fun. Answer Adam's questions. Answer all of my questions, (laughs) goddammit. And uh, if you're wondering, when can I catch these fools? You can catch us at 1 p.m., Eastern on Thursdays. We're on Spotify, as Adam mentions, where he does his polls. We're on Apple, Google, Amazon. I believe you can subscribe on the various platforms, and that way you'll get like a push notification or it'll come right into your queue. So that way you don't ever have to look at the clock on Thursday. It'll just be there for you. Kitty! Kitty! Kitty!
Bye, Vader. <laughs>